Hey everyone, it's your buddy Graphic back with another video and today we're going to actually jump into the fastest way to make a lot of gold using just the trading post. Some tips and tricks and let's jump right into it. So guys, we are here, like I said, back with the trading post, kind of some tips on how to make a lot of money with the trading post very, very quickly. The first thing I'm going to suggest, guys, is going to your faction shop and checking out some of the things that you can buy. Obviously, there is going to be things like iron arrows, iron cartridges, and also, if you take a look, there is going to be a minor rune of holding. Depending on what tier you are, obviously, this will kind of upgrade uh, per tier. You're not going to have the minor rune of holding anymore. If you're Scrivener, you're going to have the next one up, major rune of holding, and so on and so forth. But keep this in mind, as these are great to sell on the trading post. So let's buy one of each real quick, just so I can show you guys that it is possible to sell these on the trading post. And I do want to keep in mind, guys, if you are trying to get very, very fast faction tokens to make a lot of money very, very quickly. What you'll want to do is actually select the bottom three PVP missions out in East Burn Outpost. If you guys have never heard of East Burn, East Burn Outpost, it's going to be the fastest way to get faction tokens in the entire game. I've actually have a farming guide on this farming faction token guide on the channel, but you know, I just want to briefly let you know again in Great Cleave, the territory itself, it's the East Outpost. And uh, you know, these are the three PVP missions. So all you have to do is run up here, Hold the bite for 1 minute and 30 seconds, kill 4 wolves, retrieve these experiment result, results, and then bring them back over to my ping right here and turn them in. So it's a very, very fast, about 5 minutes to complete all 3, and you get quite a bit of faction tokens. From that, you'll just want to bring the uh, the you know arrows or the cartridges uh, for the musket, obviously, and then also the you know minor rune of holding or whatever kind of rune of holding you actually can get. You're going to want to bring that over to the trading post. Most likely, by the way, you are not going to want to sell it in this... Uh, East burn outpost trading post just because a lot of people don't want to have to travel all the way there you're most likely going to want to bring that back on over to everfall use a recall to the house or recall to end just so you guys can skip out on the azoth carry weight uh, that comes into play so try to use a recall to house or recall to end whether it's an everfall windsward both very very popular places for things like the rune of holding and then also like i said bolts and uh arrows as well so make sure to keep that in mind another great way by the way um and i, I want to talk about the next great way to use the trading post utilize the trading post for a lot of gold but before we do so i do want to show you guys how this all works so what you'll do is you'll just go down to like i said a more popular settlement or outpost area um, and you'll just list all of these for a little bit undervalued so you'll want to put them you know just slightly under the lowest if you want to sell them instantly and then if you want to you don't really care when they sell you can just put them for uh, you know about where they're selling currently so let's just place the order obviously 100 gold uh, on this test server there's not going to be much really to uh, much to compete with, but I do want to just show you guys how it all works here. As we get to the minor rune of holding as well, you can see that you can list all three of these. You can't list the faction gear. You can't list certain faction shop items uh, and equipment. So I just want to kind of show and uh, give you guys the understanding that you can list certain items from the faction shop. So the next thing you're going to want to do with the trading post, this is going to be a completely different tip, a completely different uh, really trick that you can utilize, like I said, throughout the really entire game on you know new world it's going to continue to be a thing across different servers competition is going to be there so keep that in mind depending on which server you're on this can very very much so help you out so if we actually select all settlements in the top right we go through this you know list here select all settlements you're going to, you're going to be able to see uh all of the items listed across all every single settlement really one thing you'll want to do is you can go through a couple different different ways of doing this uh, what you can do is you can go to resources. Let's go to raw resources just for this example. If we want to buy green wood, and uh, you know, green wood right now is on the market for 100 gold, and let's just say the next one is 150 gold. So it actually shows us where this is at. So first light is the location for this green wood that is actually 100 gold, and then Everfall it's selling for 150 gold. What you obviously do is want to teleport to first light, buy it all up, and then sell it in Everfall. So it's going to be a very very quick process of making money. And do keep in mind, guys, that you know there's going to be other people doing this. You're not going to be the only one doing this. So find a resource that works really well for you, or find a you know different kind of material that works really well for you. There's going to be different materials that a lot of people may not catch on to. So just like I said, find your material that works well for you. I also want to say, guys, if you are looking to just make some quick gold and uh, you have a lot of extra gold, there are more ways than just using the trading post. This is just going to be the quickest way to do so. 
um, without really you know going out of your way getting experience because you are going to get experience for this so you don't want to take too much time you know wasting you know really just kind of going and making gold but if you are low on gold you need the gold definitely using or utilizing the trading post in new world is going to be very very beneficial for people who know how to use it and like i said you know these rune of holdings are used for bags so people are going to need them and you're going to be able to sell these for a pretty penny bullets in the beginning of the game are also like i said very very kind of hard to get because some areas don't have um everfall specifically doesn't have a very very low I guess I should say it doesn't have a very, very low, uh, you know, saltpeter area where you can actually go in Everfall. I think it's like level 18, 19-ish that you can start getting that saltpeter. And I think it's the north, let's see here, I think it's this northeast side of Everfall in this top left area. So that's where you start getting saltpeter in about 15, 19 range. Um, and, you know, some of these other starting zones do have some saltpeter, but a lot of people don't go out of their way to actually get them. So buying bullets is definitely going to be more profitable on the faction shop than buying arrows most likely just because of the little bit more complication there. And then minor rune of holding, as well as all the other runes of holding, help you craft uh, bags, which are just absolutely huge in New World. People love bags, obviously different perks, and just leveling it up in general, or leveling up that skill of crafting in general. So just keep that in mind, guys. Just want to kind of give you a trading post overview, the couple different ways to actually uh, get yourself involved with the trading post and actually start making money on the trading post. Um, you know, it's just one of those, like I said, tips and tricks for you guys. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys again for tuning in. Making sure to subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on, and I'll see you guys all in the next one.